Sounds very familiar, no? Kahit sino, ngayon, kahit mga kabataan, they know what pneumonia is, no? Uh, lagi nilang nadidinig. It's because it's uh, very common at ang nakakatakot, minsan may mga nababalita tayo na kakilala natin, kaibigan natin, kasama natin, tinamaan ng pneumonia and then after a while, nabalitaan na lang natin na sumakabay lang buhay na. Okay? So, let's begin by talking about this uh, condition. Okay? Parang ayaw natin Does it work? <laughs> okay. Wala. Huh? Hi. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so here we are. Okay, pneumonia is of course an infection, no? That uh, is associated with our lungs, no? Yung ating mga baga, no? And in particular, or specifically, the involved area of the lungs are the air sacs. Kasi ang uh, anatomy ng lungs, no? From the two lobes, may right lobe and left lobe, no? The right lobe has three lobes, actually, and the left lobe has two lobes, okay? The left, left lung, I mean, has two lobes. So, from the bronchi, ang tawag doon, kasi maraming tubo na pinagdadaanan yung ating uh, mechanism of breathing. So it goes from the bronchus, singular, of course, plural, bronchi, and then it goes to the smaller areas where they are called the bronchioles, no? and then eventually the air is uh, directed towards the smallest uh, air sacs, which is called the alveoli. Okay? So, itong alveoli or air sacs are the ones which are usually affected in cases of pneumonia. No? So, nagkakaroon sila ng tinatawag na fluid or pas, nana. No? The infection is coming from, of course, mamaya pag-usapan natin what are the uh, different causes of uh, pneumonia. But this particular bacteria no, produces the pus, no, yung tinatawag nating purulent material. And it lodges eventually, no, pumupunta siya doon sa air sacs or alveoli. The alveoli are very important because why? Nandu doon yung exact air exchange. No? Diba? When we say air exchange, diba? yung uh, we breathe in oxygen, and we uh, exhale or pinalalabas natin yon carbon dioxide and the exact area where the air exchange happens is in the alveoli or air sacs so kapag kanalagyan sila ng ng fluid or ng nana no this will cause a what a reduction in the air exchange to the point na minsan hindi na makahinga yung pasyente especially in patients who have histories of bronchial asthma, no? yung may mga hika. So eventually, what usually happens is inuubo no? yung, uh, yung pasyente, no? and the cough comes with phlegm. No? May, uh, uh, tawag dito, yung um, nana na kasama, and of course, since this is an infection, no, definitely the patient will experience fever. In most cases, no, high-grade fever. And uh, accompanied by chilling sensation, and of course, eventually difficulty of breathing. Now, of course, there are so many different organisms no, that can cause pneumonia. Merong bacterial, uh, organisms, merong viral organisms, and there are also fungal organisms that can possibly cause pneumonia. Now, anybody can get this uh, lung infection. No? Even uh, younger infants, no? or younger, I mean, younger individuals like uh, infants or babies less than two years old. No? And at the same time, yung mga 
uh, nakatatanda nating mga uh, tao no who are over 65 years old so makikita natin yung extremes of ages are usually involved in this particular infection no mas nakakatakot kasi they are more vulnerable ibig sabihin mas mahina ang kanilang resistensya and chances are kung hindi magagamot ng, ma ng maayos at na uh, mabilisan chances are they might compromise their life so pwedeng madisgrasa yung bata or yung uh, matanda that's because their immune system might not be as strong no enough to fight the uh, infection okay now what are the usual common pneumonia symptoms ngayon when we talk of symptoms of pneumonia just like in other respiratory tract infections halos magkakapareho na sila eh. hindi na nagkakalayo eh no so there could be some chest pains no when you breathe especially when the patient coughs so pagka umuubo minsan sumasakit din dibdib sometimes pagka medyo nagsisimula nang lumala even yung ordinary na paghinga no nakakaramdam na rin ng uh, pagsikip or pagsakit uh, ng dibdib now of course in most cases kasi pag sinabi nating ubo ka no either dry ka or cough that produces phlegm or mucus no so kapag ka may phlegm na no uh, in most cases these are referable to a possible pneumonia infection okay of course consequently what happens no no wala na nang gana yung pasyente yung uh, pasyente no and there seems to be extreme fatigue napapagod kahit hindi naman dapat mapagod kasi wala namang ginawa pero hinahapo simply because there is a uh, significant reduction in air exchange hindi makapasok ng gusto no yung uh, oxygen tinatawag nating hangin sa loob ng baga and so what happens no parang hinihingal no madaling mapagod yung pasyente of course fever will always be there kasi this is an infection sabi nga natin the first sign or symptom of any infection elsewhere in the body would always be fever. And then ang katakataka nagchi-chill pero there is an uh, accompanying sweating. So minsan, no, oh, kasi usually 'di ba pag kalinalag na tayo, of course nagchi-chill tayo. Pero hindi naman tayo pinapawisan. In fact, pag pinawisan na tayo, no, ibig sabihin bumababa na 'yung lagnat natin because In most cases, nakapagsimula na tayong uminom ng mga antipyretic or something that will take care of the high temperature. In other cases, no, kasi nga meron ding loss of appetite, minsan may mga pasyente no, pinipilit kumain. No? And in so doing, they develop what we call nausea, nasusuka, or vomiting, talaga sumusuka na. No? Ang masakit pa niyan, some patients would Uh, also experience diarrhea. So the moment there is vomiting and diarrhea, no, kailangan iswero na yung pasyente. So there's no other way to treat the patient but to make sure that the masweruhan ng pasyente. And of course, in most cases, unless the clinic will be able to provide uh, the swero, no, yung IV infusion, then usually the patient is admitted in the hospital double purpose yung uh, yung infusion uh, yung drip na tinatawag no yung swero kasi hinahydrate mo na yung pasyente because that will also bring down the temperature of the patient and at the same time you start the antimicrobial uh, treatment through the iv para mabilis ang uh, reaction or ang uh, improvement ng pasyente Uh, in some patients, no, kahit na walang history of uh, asthma attacks, no, there is also shortness of breath. Obviously, because there is a significant reduction in uh, air exchange. No? Now, what are classified as having high risk? Sabi nga natin kanina, of course, extremes of ages. 
So adults older than 65 years old, mas nakakatakod. So in most cases, the moment there is a high suspicion of pneumonia in uh, an adult person, mas maganda na na dali na sa hospital, no? For proper uh, treatment, no? Gayun din, on the other hand, children, no? Younger than 2 years old, no? Lalong-lalo na kung merong nakikita naman natin, minsan, no? Nahihirapan huminga. Of course, uh, it could not be necessarily be uh, pneumonia, pero baka pwedeng bronchitis, no? Uh, bronchiolitis, marami kasing respiratory infection that can possibly happen in uh, very young uh, patients, no? Sa mga bata. I still remember when I was an intern, nagro-rotate kami sa San Lazaro Hospital, no? By pabi pavilion na tawag doon. Isang pavilion, pare-pareho ng sakit. May meningitis. Isang pavilion, makikita mo doon, uh, Merong mga pneumonia, suspected uh, bronchula, uh, bronchitis, bronchiolitis, no? So, iba't iba. And ang masakit na katotohanan during that time is, misang tatawagin kami mga doktor or even interns, no? Para lang mag-pronounce ng death, no? Para po mirma sa death certificate ng mga pasyente na namatay na. Okay? So, it's, it's really very, very... Uh, compelling on our part na kailangan talaga mabigyan ng lunas agad-agad. So again, extremes of ages, kailangan mabantayan ng gusto for suspected cases of pneumonia. Now, of course, yung mga pasyente or people with an underlying health condition or weakened immune system. No? So, sino ito? Mga patients with history of on and off no repeated attacks of bronchial asthma nakakatakot 'yan pagka tinambahan ng pneumonia of course patients no who are receiving chemotherapy no yung may mga yung mga cancer patients and who are taking medications no that suppresses the immune system kinakatakot 'yon dahil why konting um, umpisa pa lang ng tama ng uh, pneumonia no, it can compromise the life of the patient. No? Of course, people with cardiovascular diseases like heart failure or kaya chronic lung problems, no? madaling madali makaka disgracia ang pneumonia. That's the reason why, no, in cases of high suspicion of, of pneumonia, the patient should be brought quickly to the hospital for proper evaluation. Now, what are the causes of pneumonia? Okay. Many microorganisms can cause pneumonia. Sabi ko nga kanina, they can include bacteria, viruses, and even fungal uh, infection. No? Especially viruses nowadays, no? kasi we breathe them in. No? Mga airborne ang tawag sa kanila. Nasisinghot natin, pag pumasok sa baga natin, chances are that will initiate... No? the infection. Okay? Now, pneumonia is classified according to the type of microorganism that causes it. No? Ibig sabihin, ano, saan ba natin posible nakuha yung pneumonia? Whether it be bacteria, virus, or fungi. Okay? So, meron din na na community-acquired pneumonia. And this is the most common type of pneumonia. Pag sinabing community acquired, no, it is usually uh, nakukuha natin no, outside of hospitals or other healthcare facilities. No? And it may be caused by the following bacteria. The most common is Streptococcus pneumoniae, ang tawag doon. The bacteria that causes pneumonia is called Streptococcus pneumoniae. And this type of pneumonia can occur on its own. Or even after you've had a cold or the flu. Sabi na mo, ay, trangkaso lang ito. Wala ito. But if it starts to, the, if the uh, microorganism starts to go down to the bronchioles and eventually lodge in the air sacs or alveoli, 
sigurado tatamaan na tayo na pneumonia. In fact, that particular condition is called lobar pneumonia. Okay? Now, there are also what we call bacteria-like organisms. And one of them is what we call mycoplasma pneumoniae. Okay? It typically produces milder symptoms. No? Kisa dun sa streptococcus pneumoniae. No? Kaya nga tinawag din siya, usually sa Amerika ito, hindi, hindi common at tinatawag sa Pilipinas. Pero it's also called walking pneumonia. No? Very informal. Kasi bakit? Parang wala lang eh. No? Because it's very mild, so the patient doesn't seem to uh, uh, experience any of the usual signs and symptoms no? referable to pneumonia. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya, walking pneumonia. Okay? Pero ang nakakatakot dito is kung mababa ang immune system ng tao, no? chances are lalala siya and would get, would get into the what we call the classical pneumonia. So hindi rin dapat pabayaan. Okay? Another possible organism, microorganism that causes uh, community-acquired pneumonia is a fungal infection. Diba? Sabihin natin, this type of pneumonia is most common in people with weakened immune system. Kasi nagkakaroon na ng mixed infection na tinatawag. No? Marami na silang nasisingkot no? na airborne fungi. Okay? Meron din fun in airborne fungi. No? And it can be found sometimes in uh, exotic areas. No? Yung mga environment that is very commonly located ang mga fungi. No? Minsan, bird droppings. No? So, depende yan sa geographic location. In our area, in the Philippines, since we are in a tropical country, hindi masyado yung uh, fungal type of pneumonia. Okay? Now, another type of pneumonia na pinaka nakakatakot and halos lahat tayo ngayon ay nakatuon dito are the viruses. No? And that includes, of course, the coronavirus, no? yung COVID-19. No? Sometimes they can start as colds no? or flu-like uh, symptoms. No? But again, as soon as the uh, immune system is compromised, no, weakened yung immune system natin, no? what happens? This can develop into a full-blown pneumonia. And in most cases, no, ito ang dumidisgrasa, ito ang nakakamatay no, sa mga taong tinamaan ng COVID-19. Aside from yung nadidinig yung cytokine storm, kung saan nagwawala na, no? yung mga panlaban ng katawan natin na sana dapat tutulong sa katawan natin, no? ito rin ang isa sa pinaka uh, nakakatakot. No? The moment a patient who is COVID positive develops pneumonia, no? chances are he, he is in a very, very serious situation. Okay? So, yan ang uh, ikinatatakot natin sa viruses. Nung araw, Pag sinabing meron kang viral infection, wala yan eh. No? Labanan lang yan ang palakasan ng katawan. Ang nangyayari lang ngayon, nakakatakot, kasi kahit na malakas tayo, matindi ang dating ng itong mga viruses na to. That's the very reason kung bakit ang panlaban natin dito ay protection and prevention. Of course, the minimum health protocols like physical distancing, Frequent, frequent hand washing, of course, the wearing, the constant wearing, a proper wearing of face mask and face shield will also definitely protect us. And, of course, eventually, yung ating bakuna, yung vaccine. We will also mention that towards the end of, uh, of my short lecture. Now, meron ding tinatawag na Hospi kung kanina may community acquired, meron din tinatawag na hospital acquired pneumonia. Yan ang nakakatakot ng din sa hospital. Kaya hindi natin masisisi, maraming pasyente, maraming tao, lalo ngayon, 
because of the prevalence of coronavirus infection, yung COVID-19 infection, maraming tao natatakot pumunta ng hospital. Kung ako ang doktor na, eh, natatakot na rin pumunta sa hospital. Because you, can, you will never know yung kasalubong mo pala, a eh, carrier, or talagang uh, COVID positive uh, patient. No? Sa dami ng tao, sa dami ng pasyente, sometimes hindi mo na makontrol. Now, before the advent of corona or COVID-19 infection, nagkakatakutan din. Kasi bakit? Of course, ang hospital is a, uh, anong tawag doon? Is a potential no? area of infection. Lalong-lalo na kung airborne. No? Kaya nga, di ba, bawal nga mga bata na pumunta sa hospital kung dadalaw lang kung kanikanino. No? Uh, we try to avoid or we try to prevent uh, children from going kasi we presume that these children might have a very low immune system so mada pwede silang dapuan ng, uh, ng ng sakit agad especially airborne like pneumonia now there are people who are on breathing machines no? mga ventilators and the ventilators themselves can often be a potential area of possible infection. Kaya nga sa intensive care units, no, the moment na gumaling na yung pasyente, matindi ang, ano yan, ang uh, linisan. The problem is, hindi naman lahat ng pasyente gumagaling sabay-sabay. So, hindi mo ma, basta mababakante ang, uh, ang uh, ICU. No? So, nakakatakot because baka mamaya airborne, no? yung uh, hindi mo pa nasasala o na, natatanggal yung mga mikrobyo. And pwedeng kumalat pa rin doon sa mga, in, doon sa mga pasyente na na, nasa ICU na wala namang pneumonia. Like for example, a patient who has undergone a uh, bypass operation. The SOP is that the patient might be brought no? uh, to the intensive care unit for close monitoring. Ang masakit nun, no, while recovering, bigla namang tinamaan pa ng pneumonia because airborne yung pneumonia. Kaya nga, yan yung may mga tinatawag na hospital-acquired pneumonia. Misa, naglalakad ka lang. No, yung pala, eh, marami nang nasa hangin. No? Yung uh, streptococcus pneumonia or mycoplasma pneumonia, yung mga microorganism causing pneumonia, nasingot mo, possibly pwede kang mahawa. So that is what we call the hospital acquired pneumonia. Now, meron din tinatawag na healthcare acquired pneumonia. Ano ito? Again, almost the same thing and it occurs in people who live in long-term care facilities, no? Minsan yung ayun na lumabas sa, sa ano like yung dati sa uh, QI, yung mga may PT, no? Parang border na doon eh, hindi ayun na lumabas ng hospital. Even in uh, before, tala, tala leprosarium, no? yung mga leprosy cases, no? parang borders na sila, hindi na sila umaalis doon. No? Kasi libre pagkain, libre lahat. No? So, these are healthcare acquired, pwede rin magkaroon ng healthcare acquired pneumonia. Okay? Even uh, in, ngayon, very common yung mga kidney dialysis centers. No? So, pwede pa rin mahawa yung mga pasyente through the healthcare personnel na nag assist in the different uh, uh, procedures that are being done to patients. Okay? Now, what are the other risk factors that might possibly cause pneumonia? Okay? So, being hospitalized. Siyempre, sabi nga natin, basta na-hospital ng pasyente, for whatever reason, mas nakakatakot because of the possibility of airborne transmission of pneumonia. Okay. Ano pa? Uh, chronic diseases. No? Siyempre, kung ang pasyente may on and off attacks of uh, bronchial asthma, merong COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Ano yon? Very commonly, emphysema and bronchitis. Ito yung mga tinatawag yung COPD uh, patients. No? And, of course, patients suffering from different heart diseases. Another risk factor that is quite common is 
smoking naturally because why smoking damages your body's natural defenses no nasisira yung mga tutulong no against the bacteria and viruses that cause pneumonia kaya nga a chronic smoker is always a uh, candidate for possible pneumonia ano pa weakened or suppressed immune system okay kaya nga people with hiv aids no mga nakakatakot people who have undergone organ transplantation people who are suffering from cancer and undergoing chemotherapy or even long term steroids these are people with suspected suppressed immune system and the moment that uh, happens no weakened or suppressed immune system no this becomes a you tend to have the possibility of getting pneumonia okay now how do we diagnose pneumonia no the most common na ginagawa is of course x-ray if you can notice dun sa x-ray natin no makikita mo tatad hindi clear ang klarong x-ray is makikita mo yung silhouette na itim no itim na itim lang and then makikita mo lang yung ribs na na, na uh, across the ano no pero pag kaganitong ka para sabihin natin kadumi no marami kang nakikitang uh, uh, parang mga sumasanga-sanga na densities no this is ito yung mga infected areas of your lungs secondary to a pneumonia kaya yung sa mga pulmonologists no yung mga spesyalista sa baga no isang tingin lang nilang ganyan sa x-ray ah ikaw ay may pneumonia no? they would uh, be able to find out kasi araw-araw nakikita nila yung mga cases na ganyan of course another important uh, uh, diagnostic procedure would be the blast, blood test no we usually request for a complete blood count no and then uh, we also request for sputum uh, culture and sensitivity test no kasi sometimes you have started the patient na bigyan mo ng antibiotics so antimicrobials tapos hindi rin gumagaling yung pasyente so we need to make sure that we are able to do a to identify exactly ano yung uh, microbio no na nagko-cause ng pneumonia baka mamaya hindi pala streptococcus pneumonia baka ibang klase pa no? or the suspicion of pneumonia is absolutely wrong no so nakikita rin natin yan sa blood test as well as the chest x-ray no napakalaga niyan because the chest x-ray aside from identifying no a typical pneumonia case kailangan din malaman ano extent ng damage sa lungs no and by looking at the x-ray film agad-agad the pulmonologist will be able to identify the extent of the problem, medical condition okay pulse oximetry yung pulse oximeter no yung uh, saturated uh, oxygen level all of a sudden became very very popular because of covid na naman sa intensive care unit no or do sa pako na tinatawag post anesthesia care unit may inoperahan ka kahit anong klase ng operasyon binigyan ng pasyente ng uh, ng uh, spinal anesthesia or binigyan ng tinatawag naming uh, epidural anesthesia after the operation is done dinadala muna yon pasyente for close monitoring sa PACU post anesthesia care unit <clears throat> and one of the most uh, common uh, minute instrumentation is of course the uh, pulse oximeter no noon doon lang ginagamit yon malimit to check the saturation of oxygen meaning <coughs> yung dugo ba ng pasyente ay maayos ang oxygen level kasi baka mamaya sobrang baba na no meaning the oxygen is not able to flow in to the different uh, blood vessels no na sinusuplayan ng dugo so importante nakikita now 
bigla siya naging uh, very common kasi sa corona or uh, uh, COVID-19 infection, kailangan from time to time chinecheck yung oxygen saturation. And uh, it has been established that the oxygen saturation should always be over 94%. Uh? So, nagda 98, 99, 97, 96, wag nang bababa ng 94%. Because the moment it starts to go down or below 94%, no? medyo may precaution na tayo. Oops, parang hindi maganda ang air exchange. No? Ang nakakatakot is sa COVID, ang bilis ng pagbaba from less than 94%. Halimbawa, biglang nag-90%. Misa tuloy-tuloy ka agad yun. Below 60, you know? so nakakatakot. That's the reason why may precautions na ginagawa na sa hospital. And what would be the fastest remedy? Oxygen inhalation. Di ba? Kaya nga, nagkakaubusan din ng oxygen tanks no? sa mga hospitals. Kasi ang gamit, masyadong maraming pasyente na nag-oxygen inhalation. Okay? So we give the patient ordinary 2 to 3 liters per minute of oxygen. And in some cases, the moment the oxygen is given, no, nakikita natin steadily umakit na naman yung uh, oxygen saturation. Okay? So, importante yon. In cases of pneumonia, kailangan nababantayan din yung oxygen saturation. Now, another diagnostic procedure that should be done, isabi nga kanina, is sputum exam. No? Mahirap siyang kuhanin. Bakit? Pag sinabi mo sa pasyente, dumuraho kayo, Eh, dudura lang yun. Sa pagdura, hindi natin makikita. Kailangan dumahak, kailangan malalim. Because the phlegm or the sputum should come from the lungs. Hindi yun dito lang sa bunganga natin. Because kung sa bunganga lang natin, definitely it will turn out to be negative. No? With regards to pneumonia. Kasi wala yung bacteria dun eh. Wala yung microorganism dun sa laway lang. Kailangan dun sa dahak natin. Dun sa malalim. Talaga dapat sa lungs nang gagaling. Okay? Now, of course, in uh, modern hospitals, sabihin natin, first class hospitals, no? of course, sini CT scan pa pasyente. Alam nyo naman ngayon, MRI, CT scan, lahat na lang ng uh, parte ng katawan pwedeng i-CT scan, pwedeng in MRI. Okay, maganda. Walang kaduda-duda. Pero napakabigat ng presyo. So, so sometimes we need to make sure if the patient will be able to afford a CT scan or an MRI. Now, na mention lang yung uh, plural fluid culture. Again, para din yan yung, ano, yung uh, culture. Kasi there are instances where tinutusok ng karayom yung ating rib area to go through the plural area papasok na ano. Uh, baga. Dito lang sa may surface ng baga. No? And uh, to get the fluid, and that, that uh, fluid will be uh, examined to find out kung present yung uh, pneumonia uh, microorganism. But masyado nang ano yan, masyadong, masyadong mabigat na. And even pulmonologists will not necessarily do an ordinary plural fluid culture. Magaling na sila, makita lang x-ray, alam na nila. Of course, for purposes of uh, discussion, kaya lang natin binabanggit the different types of diagnostic procedures. Now, as soon as we are able to diagnose no, a typical classical pneumonia case, then siyempre, ano na, agad-agad, the treatment comes in. No? And uh, the treatment is uh, will, will entail no, an aggressive approach. Hindi pwede pa petics-petics dito. The moment the patient is labeled to be suffering from pneumonia, a very aggressive approach should be done. Dito sa uh, picture na to, makikita natin, no? yung nakikita natin on your right side, where actually that's the left side of the lungs. No? Clear siya, medyo clear. Pero dito sa left side, when facing the picture, Actually, the right side yun, no, makikita mo yung uh, uh, whitish area no, 
natatakpan na yung uh, clear area. So, that is a typical uh, pneumonia picture no, sa x-ray. And ito rin, isabi ko kanina, haziness ang tawag dyan, no? Parang ma, no, uh, malabo, no? maraming mga streaks of white uh, uh, echoes, no, ang tawag doon, na lumalabas doon sa x-ray. And this will definitely point to sa mga sanay na sanay, bumasa ng x-ray, radiologists as well as pulmonologists, sabihin nila, ah, pneumonia yan, admit na yung pasyente. Okay? Now, aside from the typical uh, antibiotics or antimicrobials na ginagamit, binibigyan din natin sila ng cough syrup. No? Why? Kasi yung phlegm, importante na matunaw natin. Okay? So, the moment the, uh, the cough medicine no, takes its effect, eventually what happens, naglulusen. No, yung phlegm until you're able to completely eliminate it. Madaling idahak na. And as soon as that happens, eventually the patient no, gets rid of the phlegm. So kasi nakakatakot din na magstay yung phlegm doon kasi ito yung haharang doon sa mga alveoli or air sacs that will uh, reduce no, or eventually stop the air exchange hindi na tayo makakuha ng oxygen and so what happens to the patient no? pwede madisgrasya now of course if the patient has fever no? we need to give them some uh, ano, antipyretic yung tawag doon no? uh, it can come sa atin dito sa Pilipinas very common of course paracetamol some would use acetaminophen no? Tylenol dito sa atin by Jesse now if the patient is uh, or qualifies for an immediate hospitalization no especially the following no sabi nga natin kanina older than 65 years old no uh, and very very young patients no patients who are experiencing confusion about time people or places no the uh, kidney function has declined significantly no? the paano natin malalaman kung mayroong kidney function failure of course we request for a blood test no specifically the blood urea nitrogen BUN or yung uh, creatinine level no? so kung compromised ng pasyente mataas masyado ang mga levels you have to admit the patient because nakakatakot may comorbidity si parang covid Pagka may mga comorbidities, mas lalong napapadali yung, uh, yung buhay ng pasyente. No? Humihirap yung gamutan. No? In pneumonia, ganun din. Pag may comorbidities, we need to make sure that the patient is closely monitored. Like yung blood pressure, bumababa na below 90. Yung systolic, no? And then the diastolic is getting lower than 60. No? Kasi acceptable, pinakamababa na dapat na blood pressure natin should be 90 over 60. So, if, if the blood pressure of the patient goes below 90 over 60, then that is a, a, already a reason to uh, admit the patient. No? Of course, there, the, there is rapid breathing. Yung uh, normal uh, respiratory rate na tinatawag should only be about 20 to 24. Oh. Pero kapag ka more than 30 per minute, then it means that there is uh, nahihirapan na huminga yung pasyente. So again, we probably need to admit the patient. No? And then obviously, of course, if there is a need for oxygen inhalation, no? may breathing assistance. No? Parang namumutla na yung pasyente, misa nangingitim-ngitim na yung sisimula na mangitim yung mga daliri, no? yung lips no uh, nangingitim na then definitely the patient needs oxygen inhalation so we need to admit the patient and then of course the heart rate either if it goes below 50 or above 100 kasi ang normal heart rate or pulse rate ng tao should only be 60 to 90 now if the patient is uh, 
so severe, especially may respiratory distress, hirap na hirap na huminga, chances are the patient might be admitted to an intensive care unit and might be started on some breathing apparatus like the ventilator. Now, sabi natin kanina, extremes of ages. So again, in children below 2 years old or months pa lang, so infants talaga, no? nakakatakot yan. Sometimes, of course, because hindi sila nakakapag-communicate, pag nakita na natin na lethargic, no? yung parang naglulong ang iba tawag doon, no? yung uh, parang hindi buhay kala mo uh, na mamamatay na no? no tulog ng tulog no so nakakatakot we need to admit the patient already of course trouble breathing and low blood oxygen levels no pinals oximeter natin tapos below 94 no lalo pa kung mga exceeds 60 70% lang definitely the patient needs some oxygenation apparatus And uh, sometimes they appear to be dehydrated. Kailangan pa rin ng ICO care. Now, what are the usual complications of pneumonia? Of course, the most common complication is death. <laughs> Ayaw natin magkaroon ng complication ang pneumonia because it might be too late. No? Kasi baka mamaya madisgrasya na yung pasyente. But in, in some cases, mayroon tinatawag na Bacteria that remains in the bloodstream, sa dugo. We either call it bacteremia or sepsis. Yung bacteremia, hindi masyado nagagamit eh, pero mas appropriate siya gamitin. Because uh, bacteria in the blood means bacteremia, is called bacteremia. Pero nasanay na tayo sa sepsis eh. No? Yung sepsis, yung uh, fulminant or overwhelming infection in the blood. No, that may lead to a possible death no, because of the potential for causing organ failure. So, yan, isa yan. Of course, inevitably, difficulty of breathing. So, kung hindi na talaga makahinga yung pasyente and would need a ventilator, then nakakatakot na because it can be identified as a late case of pneumonia. Now, another one is If there is fluid no, in the lungs, as in plural effusion, nag-accumulate na yung fluid. And fluid in the lungs means there is a chronic, long-standing infection that has not been treated adequately. And then, of course, lung abscess. No? Nagkaroon na ng, when say abscess, it is a past formation nag-form na ng uh, nana dun sa baga and that would definitely require extensive antibiotic treatment. Okay? So, how do we prevent? No? We're almost ending our uh, uh, lecture. How do we prevent getting pneumonia? The best prevention would still be the vaccine. Meron po tayong iba't ibang klase ngayon na pneumonia vaccine. Now, another common question is, Doc, kung nabigyan ako ng flu vaccine, kailangan pa ba ng pneumonia? Definitely. Because yung flu vaccine will only take care of your flu. While the pneumonia vaccine will definitely take care of uh, getting you prevented from having pneumonia. Okay? So, of course, as then, of course, What would keep our immune system strong? And that is, of course, to take our no, daily doses of our supplements. No? Yung mga supplements. Sabihin lang, eh, bakit pa kailangan mag-supplements? Malakas naman yung katawan natin. No? But nowadays, because uh, nako-compromise yung ating immune system, napapalaban ng gusto because of our exposure to different forms of uh, Uh, possible infection, we need to continuously take all our supplements so offered by our company, Unified Products and Services. Pinili ho namin ang gusto itong mga produkto ng Unified Products and Services in order to address no, all the possible medical conditions that can affect us. So, para makaiwas tayo 
especially in this case, pinag-uusapan natin pneumonia na nakakatakot, na dapat talagang katakutan sa lahat ng oras, we need to make sure to take all our uh, product supplements. No? We'll discuss them a little later. So at this point, uh, maraming salamat po. And uh, I hope everyone would be conscious enough to always take good care of your health. No? Lalong lalo na sa ngayon, na uh, panahon, na respiratory diseases no, are very prevalent. Summertime, pagkatapos naman itong summertime, rainy season comes in, and still, kailangan natin mag-ingat sa mga respiratory diseases, most especially, of course, pneumonia. And so, I end up my short lecture on pneumonia. Probably we'll be discussing uh, some more or answer some of your questions in the next segment. Bye for now. Thank you. Ayun, grabe mga ka-unified. Nandito ito naman bumuli kami ni Doc Ariel Bayra. Sa, maraming salamat sa napakagandang uh, discussion at regards sa pneumonia. At alam, alam natin na sabi ko nga noon, no, basta na lang nasa hospital, pag tinek mo yung ano nila eh, yung uh, abstract, no? pag tinignan mo or yung abstract. ano, minsan naman sa death certificate, no, usually parating hindi na mawala yung pneumonia eh. Yun talaga yung nagiging cause of ano, death, either death. cardiac arrest or pneumonia. Right. Ang ano lang natin dito, Doc, is paano ba nila ma-identify? Ano Kasi yung pneumonia and yung ating COVID-19 is parang similar yung ano nila, eh, yung yes, yes. mga signs, signs and, and symptoms. symptoms. Right. So, mahirap talaga. No? Uh, ang nangyayari sa cases ng COVID-19 natin, mm -hmm. if a patient is suspected from having a COVID-19 positive, mm. Uh, condition. Condition. No? Uh, chances are, ayaw natin silang, kasi very prone sila na magkaroon ng pneumonia. Pneumonia. Respiratory na naman yan eh. No? Uh, so, compromise yung kanilang immune system, mm -hmm. mababa, ando doon na yung virus. Mm -hmm. no? So, the next thing that can possibly happen is kumalat. No? And sa pagkalat niyang ganun, magkaroon ng mixed infection. Kasi yung, di ba, Doc, yung, yung corona is a virus. It's a virus. But yung pneumonia is it's a, a bacteria. bacteria. Exactly. So, so, yun yung tinatawag natin, mixed infection. Mixed infection. No, nagsasama-sama na sila kasi na-compromise na yung katawan ng pasyente, masyado nang mababa, no? uh, airborne lahat yan, hmm. no? mahina talaga na yung baga. So, Kasi, are, kasi may isa pa eh, yung, di ba yung uh, TB, di ba, yung mm. tuberculosis, di ba? It's caused also by uh, bacteria. bacteria. Right. So, yun ba, pag may TB ka, di ba, may tuberculosis ka, yung chances ba na, di ba, mag-fall into pneumonia, malaki? Yes, mas malaki. No, so, yun yung tinatawag nating mga comorbidities. Comorbidities. Oo, gaya din nung sa COVID, maraming kung meron ang comorbidities, like meron kang history ng hika, mm -hmm. meron kang heart problems, meron kang high blood, meron kang diabetes. diabetes. Oh, mas may prone ka. To, no? Pero, when we talk of pneumonia, no, kahit ka walang comorbidity, mm -hmm. pwede ka tamaan. Kasi the moment pumasok yung, yung microbio. Microbio. No? Micro oh, like yung uh, streptococcus uh, pneumonia and, or mycoplasma pneumonia. Hindi mo alam na nakapasok pa pala, uh -huh. chances are, pag hindi mo nahuli ka agad, meaning, hindi ka agad na-hospitalize uh -huh. ang pasyente and nabigyan ng uh, appropriate uh, antimicrobial, yes. madidisgrasya. Kasi before pa naman na, ano eh, na hindi pa lumalabas tong, ano eh, yung COVID-19, kung titingnan natin sa, ano, sa, sa datos, diba, sa statistics, uh -huh. Marami talaga ang milyon ang namamatay sa ano sa pneumonia. pneumonia. Exactly. So wala na kaligtas eh. So although mas prone yung mga baby, mm -hmm. sabi ko nga nung mm -hmm. yung anak ko muntik mm -hmm. na siyang nandoon na siya sa ano na magkaroon oh, ng pneumonia. Kailan maganda lang kasi doon na uh, kailan maagapan. Maagapan. So since during that time ang hirap talaga kasi may mga ano yung season eh, maraming right. ano right. eh mga 
may sakit, di ba? Napupun, hindi lang naman during COVID na puno hospital eh. Yung yes, sa pneumonia, yes. marami talaga nagkaka- 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 pneumonia eh. Yes. Uh, so nangyari doon, talaga nabigyan ko siya nung, talaga chinaga ko talaga yung ating uh, vitamin C, yung sodium ascorbate. And good news noon, kasi ano ba lang, baby pa lang siya ng 6 right, months. Right, right. So nakatulong talaga siya. Tinatanggal ko sa capsule eh, nakatulong mm-hmm. siya. And siyempre, yung sinabay yung ano, yung uh, binigay na mga gamot. Oh, oh, so, right. more on ano talaga prevention. Pre- yes, right, right. And yung sa matatanda naman doc no, yung mga senior no. Once na imagine mo once na hospitalized sila, ang bilis eh. Ang bilis, ah, agad, ang bilis. Yung right. yung monya agad yung ano eh, na, Exactly. Kasi nga compromise yung katawan yes. eh. Ah, uh, may na may na weakened the immune Mababa system. Na immune system Sobrang nila. baba no, so lahat na ng posibleng infection pumapasok sa kanila. And same one of them is, same nang ano is may inflammation pa rin pag may bakit yes, yung of so napakaganda pa rin talaga is mabigyan sila ng mga anti-inflammatory anti-inflam- supplements yes. na sabi nga namin yung ating uh, golden nature turmeric no ito po mga ka unify right. napakaganda niyan kasi meron siyang anti-inflammatory ano properties dito hindi lang baka kasi sabihin ng ating audience no yes. ating mga nakikinig Uh-oh. kasi binopropaganda niyo oh, yung sa- no The point here is when we talk of preventive health care yes. measures. Kasi yun ang pinakamahalaga sa ngayon eh. Huwag na nating hintayin na tamaan pa tayo <laughs> ng kahit anong sakit lalo pa ngayon na pinag-uusapan natin COVID yes. and of course pneumonia. No, kailangan handa tayo, no? Sabi nga, we should always be battle ready. Ika nga handa tayo sa sa gera. Uh-huh. Ang, ang gera natin ngayon, itong COVID, yes. itong mga iba't ibang infeksyon. So, paano tayo magiging handa? Of course. That's so, yung sa ating kasi doc, nasa ano, alternative medicine, di ba? It's more on uh, prevention. prevention. E ang mahirap kasi, kadalasan, pag meron ng sakit, na binigyan na sila ng mga, sabi natin, synthetic drug, mm. at the feeling nila parang walang effect sa kanila. Kasi may ganun eh, hindi uh-huh. agad talaga din, ano, eh, nagkakaroon ng nararamdaman nila may epekto. Saka sila nagsiship, mm-hmm. itry kaya natin yung alternative oh, medicine, yung mga right, supplement. Right. Kaya lang sometimes, kung kailan too meron ka ng sakit, it's, sabi nga naman, it's too late. Too late. Exactly. So hindi natin sabi na effective, pero oh. may mas maganda, kung eh, mas natin. maaga. maaga. Exactly. Kaya nga sabi natin, prevention pa rin, exactly. is better than cure. So yung mga, pag bumaba kasi yung, ano, eh, yung uh, immune system, doon talaga lahat eh. Papasok. Katamaan, kasi yung yeah. may mga comorbidity, yun usually Lalo yung... Pa. <clears throat> like ngayon, yung sa vaccine, di ba? Inuna muna yung mga frontliners yes, natin. Right. And uh, ngayon, uh, nakafocus sila yung seniors. In, uh, Now, oh. ang mga binibigyan nila ngayon yung may mga comorbidities. comorbidities so, right. so medyo pa, ano na, palapit na. Yes, palapit na. yes. Hanggang sa Saka, yes. Dok, ano din eh, eh, para mas malinaw. Hindi porke uh, binigyan ka na ng, ano, ng yung pneumonia. Yung pneumonia vaccine. vaccine. Ay, hindi na ako yeah. kailangan magpa, magpa-vaccine ng COVID. No, no. Lahat pa rin yan kailangan natin. No? So, because iba yung protection na ibibigay ng pneumonia vaccine, iba yung protection na ibibigay ng COVID vaccine, iba yung protection na ibibigay ng flu vaccine. So, wala ho tayong overdose ng vaccination okay. dito. Pinag-uusapan lang yung interval. Hindi naman pwedeng ibibigay sabay, sabay, sabay. Uh, kasi same as ano yung sa ibang vaccine like yung sa polio di ba oh, oh, so meron din natin tinatawag oh. na itong vaccine mo na na to yung oh, first dose right. then meron din tinatawag na booster yes so right. same way dito sa ating uh, covid-19 vaccine like sa flu it's yearly yung bang sa pneumonia yearly din o meron yung no, one, merong uh, merong one okay depende lang. sa pneumonia vaccine yes. lumabas ngayon marami ng klase ng pneumonia yes. vaccine so merong vaccine na yearly Merong vaccine good for 2 to 3 years. No? So, may mahaba. So, depende kung ano yung gusto natin. Now, mm-hmm. the advantage of one from the other, of course, kung, kung yung mas mahaba ang uh, duration, ang, yung, uh, duration uh, 2 to 3 years, yes. siyempre maganda yon. Mm-hmm. But then again, the other side of the contention, o pinag, uh, eh, mas mabuti na yung, yung iba, ang gusto nila yearly. Yearly. para talagang sigurado-sigurado no? na protektado. Oh, protektado. Kasi, nisip nila, pag masyado matagal, baka humihina na yung protection. So, kung yearly, mas maganda kasi taong-taong. So, so y- it's so a matter y- of choice. Yung bang mga klase ng vaccine like flu, pneumonia, and any other kind of vaccine, uh, ito ba'y safe 
na ibigay kahit yung mga meron silang for example Cobol may, may uh, buntis <laughs> may ah, okay uh, yun uh, mas malinaw po that is the only exception right yeah. now yeah. No, sa mga buntis kasi yeah. kaya naman lagi na pagtutuunan ng exception ang buntis mm -hmm. kasi walang sufficient data na magsasabi na safe yon sa pregnancy mm -hmm. no although pag pinag-usapan yung pregnancy yung mm -hmm. estado ng bata no By the time the the pregnancy reaches the third trimester, yung huling tatlo buwan, buwan, chances are safe na yung bata. Ah, okay. No? Ang pinakadelikado so yung first, first three months. Uh, because oh, stage. these are the developmental stage. Pero, well, kasi nga, walang su sapat na sufficient uh, data, sinasabi na, oh, basta buntis, wag na lang. So, minsan, discarte na rin ng doktor, ipapayo. Okay, ito, mas malaki ang possibility na tatamaan ng for example, COVID. COVID. Pero nasa third trimester na, malapit ng mga anak. Mm. Probably kung ako yun, mm. ha, I would say go. go. Bigyan na lang. Oh. So yun, para mas malino po, mas <clears throat> alam natin kung ano yung mga, sabi nga, mga pros Pre and cons. Oh, right. <clears throat> so, paano pag-take ng uh, o oh, pag, uh, you know, pag pag-vaccine. Pag okay. right. So, isa pa rin doon yung uh, yung bang pneumonia since na bacteria siya, So pag sa sa bahay ba like yung sa TV di ba? Hmm. Pwede siyang makahawa sa sa household. Ang pneumonia same din ba? Yes. Pwede ding makahawaan ng mga no? family right, members. Right, right. No, kasi lalo yeah. na kung yung pag-ubo. Yes. Kasi yung ubo o kaya yung para din COVID. Oh, no? yung yung probably possibility, no? oh, possibility na yung uh, phlegm mm -hmm. or yung mucus eh may nadudun yung uh, streptococci, uh, streptococcus pneumoniae. So, pwedeng masinghot, no? airborne so, din eh. Pag no? ganon, ang mga precautionary measures, no? pag may ganong case, so sa mga gamit, same kung paano na, tayo right. nag-prevention, uh, no? yes. inihiwalay or in-sterilize natin yung right. mga gamit yung ng gamit. pasyente. Oh, at sinihiwalay natin. Oh, kaya pala sa hospital, merong kung saan yung may ganong TB, hmm. war TB, sama-sama sila. Right. Sama -sama sila. Yes. Para hindi so, magkaroon ng cross uh, infection. Di ba gumagaling din? Di ba? May, yung gumaling. So yung tendency, pwede, pag hindi sila nag-ingat, pwede pa rin bumaling. Pwede, pwede, kahit pwede. Uh, ano. Yes, kasi ito, walang, ano, walang uh, immunity, anong tawag doon, yung yung develop ka ng uh, uh, sarili ng uh, uh, immunity na hindi ka na magkakaroon uh, uh, pagka nagkaroon ka na. Yes. No, no, no. Pwede magpaulit-ulit. Right. Kaya ang labanan na lang dyan is kailangan mataas ang immune system mo. So, talaga. mga kayunipay, ang kinakailangan talaga natin is since meron tayong mga supplements exactly. na kung saan na napakaganda at na, napaka-quality na, na, na makakatulong tulong. para lumakas ang ating immune system, eh, yung iba nga eh, no? talagang uh, naghahanap sila ng ano ng available na mga supplement tayo na mga dealer member no Nandidita once na. they avail or ano package may kasama na siya mga produkto na magagamit nila so, and ganun napakaganda yung ating mga supplement kasi ito po ay subok na na nakakatulong na ba na ma-prevent kung ano mang hindi lang yung yung any other diseases para yes, right. ma-prevent. Exactly. So pag sinabi ng supplement is supplementation, hindi kami gamot. Kasi baka sabihin nila, mm -hmm. ay ito na lang gamitin natin kasi gamot. Oh. Pwede siya doc isabay kung ano man yung binigay kahit may antibiotic. Right, Ilan right. yung ano, yung uh, para interval. Mas, interval. Mga at least kung uminom tayo antibiotic kasi may uh, supplement. Supplement. At least minimum of 1 hour. 1 hour. Oh, oh, mas maganda. Oh, mas kasi maganda. yung iba natin supplement, it's much it's better to take with empty stomach. Empty stomach. And uh, in most cases, yung atin naman mga antibiotic, better be, taken with. Oh. with ano, kaya maganda, tama-tama. May espasyo na kagad, doon pala. Mas maganda, oh. unahin mo na yung supplement, yeah. then uh, after you eat, after oh. an hour, then, yung ating ano yung... Mm. So, yun. So, at least, mas malinaw, no? And uh, isa lang, Dok, napansin ko din, no? Yung isa din pwede maging cause para magkaroon ka ng pneumonia. Mm. Na masyadong, may, may, hindi masyadong napapansin, o hindi masyadong na... Ano tawag ito na... Bibigyan atensyon. Bibigyan atensyon. Mm -hmm. Yung ano na, basa ko yung sleep up niya. Yung, oh, yung yeah, slow, yeah. Yung, okay, so, yeah. yung sleep up, hindi kasi hindi, yung sleep up niya is not an infection. Yes. Diba? Pero, so, it's a condition uh, na, kaya nga, up niya is, yung word na up niya, up. is 
absence of breathing. Next stop. Eh. Oh, next stop. Uh, no, uh, temporary stoppage of uh, breathing. No, so delikado yon sa katawan natin uh, kung magtatagal, kasi importante yung oxygen level. Yes. Kaya nga yung purpose nung uh, CPAP na tinatawag, yung continuous positive airway pressure. Uh, <clears throat> para na sa ganun, kahit tayo natutulog, no? kasi pag natutulog tayo at uh, tumigil temporarily yung paghinga natin, hindi natin, eh, may na natin observe, alam. May na Misal lang na... na, na, na observe ako ganun, kasama oh. ko, kasi hindi na itong humihinga. Yes, so, yung mga, nakakatakot. Uh, nakakatakot. nakakatakot. So, And parang uhaw na uhaw siya pag gising. Yes. Uh, oh, tsaka parang hinahapo. Parang, tsaka yun yung, yung ano din eh, naiwasan natin sa COVID, di ba? Yung madry yung ano, yes, throat. Yes, yung ating kaya, throat. Kaya dapat inom tayo ng yes. mga... Yung bang tonsillitis, Dok? Hmm. Pwede ba yun maging, uh, kasi bacteria din yun. Oh. Yung tonsillitis, yung mga bacteria, yung pwede possible din ba na mag-clean sa pneumonia? Yung, kasi, pa, malap- oh yes, yes. Kasi ang tonsillitis, hmm. isa sa pinaka-common na microorganism, streptococcus po. Yun, din pwede. Mas, yes. Tsaka mas malapit din siya sa heart. Kaya yung yes, pwede magkaroon ng heart problem. Oh, mag- pwede kang magkaroon ng heart problem. So, like yung rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic so. heart disease. Sabi ko noon, ano eh, romantic heart disease. <laughs> diba? So, antibiotic pa din eh. Kasi yes, naalala ko noon, nung bata ko, muntik na ako magkaroon ng ano eh. Uh, yung mga symptoms noon, yung pangangalay, diba? Uh, so, chinecheck talaga. Uh, uh, Maraming ano, process yun. Probably, so, then, yeah. yung ano, yung uh, antibiotic. So, hindi pa naman ako marunong, ano, hindi pa naman ako sanay uminom ng tableta noon. Uh, so, nilalagay ko sa ano eh. Sa saging. banana. <laughs> para madulas. Oh, sa saging. Para mas no? oh, oh. Right, right. So, yun. Kasi ang lalaki ng mga, ano, mga kapsula oh. nun. So, right. anyway, mga ma- ID5, mas malinaw po natin na naintindihan kung paano natin ma-identify yung, ano, diba, yung pneumonia, sa TB, and sa flu, and sa TB, sa COVID. So, halos kasi mag, ano, mag- Nag-overlap sila oh, misan. Right. Ano, yes. Eh, Symptomas. Sa lang, ano, symptom. Isa lang yung pag nilang kalimutan, pwede itong makamatay. Yes. No, hindi naman sa pananakot yes. po, no? Hindi ho kami nananakot, pero para lang maging aware yung tao na hindi dapat baliwalain ang pneumonia, no? Or papunta pa lang doon, kailangan na gagawa na natin ng paraan. And the best preventive measure, of course, yung ating supplements. Sa mga baby no. doc napansin ko, no? Yung kasi syempre, uh, mainit na panahon, usually malamig, di ba? Mm. Mainit naman, di ba, yung pinapawisan yung bata. Well, start na Nag-start na rin. Na right. Ayuan, no? Yes. Hindi ka ina-advise no. ng mga matatag na maglalay ka ng towel eh. Kasi yung towel, in-absorb niya yung pawis. Yung uh, pawis. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. Ang ginagawa nila noon, pag medyo, pa, ano kayo, madali ka pag... Ang nilalagay nila, ano eh, uh, karton, yung papel, para pag na-absorb, masigira, ma-absorb. Ah. Sabi ko, okay. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pwede pawis. Oo. 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 Yung uh, masising hot. Yes, no? masising oh, hot. Oh, oh. Right, anyway, right. so yun, kailangan po ang ano, masustansya pagkain, yun, yung vitamin C natin, di ba? vitamins and minerals. Di ba? Exactly. And isa sa pinakamaganda din, yung, ano, yung ginger. Ginger, Kaya, yung right. Yung turmeric, may turmeric. Ginger. Oh, luyang dilaw ang tawag sa kanya. So it's in the family of mga luya. Very effective talaga yan. So, Very effective. Pag sa family, meron kayong mga history ng asthma, di ba? COPD. COPD. Asthma, right. Diba? Pesima. So, yun kailangan natin ingatan sa ating mga kapamilya po. So, again po, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nakasama natin ngayon. So, walang kama po. Support na po sa Unified Radio TV Kalusugan. And again po, uh, ito po yung host nyo, Pading Eric, together with Sir uh, Doc Ariel Bayer. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Hanggang sa muli. Yan, I'm back, no? Uh, of course, as usual, we'll discuss some updates about COVID-19 in relation to uh, pneumonia, no? So, ano yung mga updates na yan, no? Uh, how many people with COVID-19 will get pneumonia? No? There's a probability of about 15% of COVID-19 cases who belong to the group of being labeled as severe. That means that they need to be treated with oxygen in the hospital. Kanina po, kung natin sinasabi, no? uh, auto-inhalation. Kaya nga nakakaubusan ng oxygen tank. Eh. No? And there are even situations where 
bumibili na yung pasyente kasi hindi ma-admit sa ospital. Bumibili na sila ng tank, ng uh, oxygen tank. At the same time, yung uh, nasal cannula, yung tawag doon, yung sinasaksak sa ilong no? para gamitin no? so that they can breathe. And uh, about 5% of these patients no? have critical infections and would need a ventilator. So, iba na yung usapan pagka kailangan lang i-ventilate yung, no? yung mechanical ventilator. Bigla akong naalala. Nung intern ako, uh, sa, sa ano rin, sa, I think it's in uh, San Lazaro kasi San Lazaro pinakamatindi ang mga infections doon eh. No? Meron na kami mechanical air exchange talaga eh. The damage causes tissue to break off and clog in your lungs. So, the moment na magkaroon ng damage, no? nagkakaroon ng leak. Sometimes, uh, there is accumulation of fluid. Sometimes, there is accumulation of phlegm. No? Nasisira yung lining ng uh, uh, air sacs or alveoli. And the moment that happens, no? that can facilitate difficulty of breathing. Now, who's most likely to get it? No? Na uh, COVID pneumonia. It's more likely in people, again, in extremes of ages, no? so 65 or older. In fact, there are those who are 85 year old or older, no? uh, which are, of course, considered as the highest risk. No? Now, aside from that, people who live in nursing homes, so America, usong uso yan eh, no? uh, sineseparate na yung mga matatanda, no? they are brought to the uh, nursing homes, no? and binabayaran na lang ng uh, mga anak o kung sino man yung uh, responsible for paying them. And so these nursing homes no, will uh, definitely have the higher chances of more severe illness with COVID-19. So sino yung mga yan? Moderate. Those patients who have moderate to severe asthma, of course. Patients with lung disease, no matter what, kahit na PTB lang, no, uh, chronic long-standing bronchial asthma no? can also be in that uh, category. Of course, high blood pressure, hypertensive patients, patients suffering from heart diseases. Okay, and dami-daming uh, no, coronary artery disease is one of them, ischemic heart disease. No? Of course, diabetes, no? uh, liver diseases, cirrhosis, no? hepatitis, and of course, renal failure. So, aside from this, Patients who are extremely obese, okay, may severe obesity. Those with a BMI of 40 or more. Ano ba yung normal? 24.9 o sabihin natin 25. No? E pagka umabot na ng 40, oh, ibang usapan na yan. Some who, uh, someone who has weakened immune system, naturally, sabi natin. Kaya nga, ang, ang uh, target natin is to make sure that the immune system is always high. No, in order to protect us. Okay? And uh, sino itong may mga weakened immune system? Smokers. No? People who are being treated for cancer. Sabi nga natin kanina, no? chemotherapy patients. No? Uh, people who have had uh, bone marrow uh, transplantation. No? Of course, HIV or AIDS. No? Yan yung mga taong compromised. So, nakakatakot because they can easily get covid uh, 19 pneumonia. Now, how do we diagnose the COVID-19 pneumonia? Okay? So, most of the time, we make use of laboratory tests. And, uh, of course, sabi nga anina, chest x-ray is very important. Uh, complete blood count would also be important. Yung C-reactive protein, no, kapag ka-elevated yon, no, it means that the uh, blood uh, oxygen level is very low. And then, of course, a CT scan of the chest no, is also important because there is where we see uh, patchy areas of uh, damage to both lungs. So, and this is what we call the ground glass appearance of the lungs. No? And uh, that point usually points to a pneumonia case. Now, how do we treat uh, COVID-19 pneumonia? Of course, the best thing to do is to be are hospitalized because in the hospital the you will be given the oxygen through nasal cannula a ventilator if it is needed of course the intravenous fluids you know, to prevent you from dehydration and to uh, uh, 
allow the intravenous uh, uh, anti-COVID treatments. No? Uh, clinical trials are now looking into whether some drugs and treatments used for other conditions might also help in this uh, severe COVID-19 pneumonia, no? like dexamethasone. Oh, of course, it's a steroid. In fact, na mentioned din ang melatonin no? as a possible thing. Now, itong controversial, another controversial antiviral preparation, remdesivir, no? for the patients uh, who are hospitalized with COVID-19. This was originally developed to treat the Ebola virus, but since it's a very powerful antiviral uh, uh, treatment, tinitingnan nila. No? Pero questionable pa rin ang remdesivir, although it's very, very commonly used no, sa mga patients, hospitalized patients, pero marami pa rin ang mortality. Now, there is also the uh, uh, emergency use authorization for the anti-malarial, no? hydroxychloroquine, di ba? Uh, uh, aside from, of course, yung ating ngayong uh, controversial ivermectin preparation. No? So, what are the steps to be taken in order to prevent COVID-19 pneumonia? Of course, again, hi personal hygiene. Wash your hands frequently. No? Now, if you cannot wash your hands with soap and water, then, of course, you can use hand sanitizers. No? Uh, try not to, take, to touch your face, mouth, or eyes no? until you have washed your hands. Because that could be the route no? of infection. And of course, uh, try to avoid anyone who is sick because this is airborne. No? Try to wear, of course, the face mask together with the face shield. And regularly clean and disinfect surfaces in your homes that you often touch so that uh, they would be free of possible COVID uh, infection. While there are COVID vaccines now available, no, they cannot protect 100% from uh, developing pneumonia. Kaya nga yung pneumonia vaccine should also be given even in patients who have had COVID vaccines already. In fact, we even include flu vaccine. So, na, uh, of course, a typical example would be me. No, I have... Uh, uh, pneumonia vaccine, I have uh, flu vaccine, 